Okay, tell us a little bit about this code and what it does, okay? Um, hi, my name is Jake, and this code, it's a dodgeball game that I made, and uh, it's its very simple. Like, you you have the space bar for jumping and the, the arrows for moving around, and your objective is to get to the brown door, and you have to jump into the brown door. And what happens when you get there? Uh, when I get there, it's going to be uh, rewarding. Like, um, it's going to change the backdrop or the background, mm -hmm. and um, it's going to display that you won, and it's kind of like a sandbox, and you can just, like, mess around. Okay, so go ahead and play it now just uh, real quickly, and then let's get ready to explain the code, okay? All right. So it's jumping. Uh-huh. And then whenever I hit the ball, it's going to go back. Uh-huh. And I made it to play, like, a little music. Whenever a ball deletes itself, it, right. it, go, it plays a major sound. Uh-huh. So that's my code. Uh, do you want me to... Yeah. Let's stop it here. Okay, so go ahead and uh, explain. For example, I noticed that there were random uh, beach balls that were coming at you. How were you able to do that? Show me that part of the code. So the way I did it, there's an operator right here. Pick random 1 through 10. And I use that to in the weight. Uh, in the, like, it's going to ask how, how long do you want to... Okay. All right, so over here. Uh, it's a loop that creates a clone. So I, I, I told it to pick a random number, one through three. Uh -huh. And so it's going to create a random throne and a uh, clone uh, ball, one through three seconds. And then it's going to go at a random speed of one through three seconds. Okay. Now, uh, each ball has a different speed or are they all same speed? Well, this glide uh, function right here, or... Yeah, um, it it gives you a, well, I put in pick random one through three seconds to glide. So it's going to change the speed of how fast you're gliding uh -huh. uh, to the coordinates given. And what is the difference between going to a particular x, y value and gliding? What's the difference? So going, you're going to, it's a repeat uh, of, of, here I have it, I can show you. It's, it's re it's repeating the negative x or negative y a certain amount of times. Mm -hmm. And with gliding, it goes to the exact coordinates. And so you, there's not a repeat. It's, it's just telling you, it, it's asking where do you want to go and how fast do you want to go. Okay. So I'll uh, start the game again. Mm -hmm. I just want to see something. Okay. Navigate to, let's say, this part right here. Um, this part right here. All right. I want to see, I want to ask you something afterwards. It's a little difficult, right? Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. Oh, that's if fine. If you want, I can just drag it. It's great. Yeah. Cloud, stop it and drag it to the top there. There you go. Top? Okay, yeah. Sh show me the code for uh, what happens when the uh, Mr. What is it called, Mr. Dodgeball? Yeah. When it comes in contact with the yellow color, what what is it supposed to do? So when it comes in contact with the yellow color, I uh, I made it so that the gravity it's not affecting the person and it could move up in the y coordinate by four. Okay. And if show me the code. All right. Um, right here. So, here's the gravity. It's regular negative four. If you fall off the platform, you're going to go down. So, for if you want to go down, um, you, if the if the pants of the sprite uh -huh. is touching the yellow, the yellow part of the ladder, right? It it is uh it's going to not be affected by gravity. But if if the if the what's it called the 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 pink part of the pants aren't touching, like if it's in the black area, right? It's it's going to be affected by gravity. It's going to go down. So I use that, and what I made the code so when it touches the up or the down arrows, uh -huh. it's going to change the y coordinate by four or negative four. Okay. All right. So move the player now just to the end there, 
I want to see what happens when um, just before the person runs into the uh, what is that called like a corridor or something um I, I really don't have a name for it but do I have to start well I don't think it's gonna work if uh -huh. if you have to be playing it and there's not a way if you can just like Okay, so yeah, so whenever you click on the green arrow, it's gonna by default it goes to that X and Y position, right? Yeah. Which is uh, minus 238 and minus 160, something like that, yes. right? Okay, okay. If you want, I can disable it so we can go there. Um, no, that's fine, that's fine. Show me what the other uh, backdrop looks like. Um, it's pretty simple, it's just saying you won. Uh-huh. Or you're a pro. Oh, you're a pro, okay. <laughs> and, Okay, and then they can just go ahead and play around there. Yeah. Okay, good. And gravity's disabled. Okay, so go back to the uh, to the game there. Okay, now, very good. I like the way you explained the code. Uh, I like the fact that you um, went ahead and explained um, how some of these conditional statements work. Now, if you had something, Jake, if you had, let's say, an extra day to work on this, how would you improve on this game? I, uh... I honestly think that the that the ending after you win this level, yeah, I think should it, take you maybe to another level. Yeah, that's something a little more challenging. Yeah, exactly. And also, this it's not really that well uh, built because it's like the same thing, just a different backdrop. I see. So gravity's going to be messed up. I should. Yeah. So that's one of the major things that I have to fix. Okay. Uh, what what were three things that you learned about programming this game? Uh, go go to the code here. Um, what what are three things that you that you learned? Um, I had no idea that a computer could pick a random number. So when I chose the dodgeball speeds, uh -huh. I I didn't know it could do that. So okay. like, so that was pretty cool. Another thing is I really learned how fun it is to actually like to make something and then see how it works and like change it up and like actually get it working. Okay. And I just didn't know Scratch could actually do that. Like, I made mm -hmm. simpler stuff, but I didn't know it could actually make something, like, that complex. I'd... Okay. Those so, are... we're going to talk later on when we do Python. We're going to talk more about random numbers and actually using something called the random library to generate numbers that will help with other, other uh, programs, okay? So, okay, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Very good, Jake.